In the 1970s, 80s and 90s, trijet passenger planes were a core part of many commercial airline fleets. Aircraft like the McDonnell Douglas DC-10 and MD-11 had their role as high-capacity long-haul jets for airlines like American Airlines, Swiss Air, Garuda Indonesia and more. But why are trijets no longer in production today? Let's find out. The first commercial trijet came in the 1960s from Hawker Sidley and Boeing in the form of the HS-121 Trident and the 727 respectively. These aircraft were designed to offer long-range capabilities and a lower capacity. However, for the development and rise of larger trijets, ETOPS and civil aviation regulations were a driving force. ETOPS regulations, or Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards, first took form as something called the 60-minute rule by the FAA. These rules, adopted by civil aviation regulators, mandated that twin-jet aircraft were only permitted to fly on routes that are a set amount of single-engine flying time from the nearest suitable airport. If one engine failed, there'd be enough time to make an emergency landing at the nearest airport using the other engine. As is obvious by the name of the first such rule, the initial time was set at 60 minutes. In the 1950s, the International Civil Aviation Organization recommended a 90-minute diversion time for all aircraft. This was adopted by many regulatory authorities and airlines outside the US. Of course, long-distance routes over oceans were impossible for twin jets under these rules, thus requiring aircraft with more than two engines. In 1964, the 60-minute rule was waived for three-engined aircraft, which opened the door for manufacturers to develop wide-body intercontinental trijets such as the McDonnell Douglas DC-10 and the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar. With ETOPS allowing for trijets, aircraft with only three engines grew in popularity for intercontinental operations, often being chosen over four-engined aircraft. Three-engined wide bodies were seen as the sweet spot between twin and quadjet aircraft, having better range, payload capabilities, and capacity than twin jets without the high fuel consumption of quadjets. While early ETOPS was partially responsible for the rise of large trijets, later updates to these rules would be part of their downfall. From the 1980s and onwards, we would see ETOPS rules go from 60 minutes to 120 minutes and up to 180 minutes at the end of the decade. While ratings would only continue to go up in subsequent decades, ETOPS 180 was enough for manufacturers to shift their development towards long-range twin jets. It was during this period that we'd see the rise of the Airbus A310 and the Boeing 767, both of which were long-range twin jets capable of transatlantic operations. For the same reason carriers made shifts from four-engined aircraft towards three-engined aircraft, airlines also shifted from three engines to two. Lower purchasing and operating costs and greater efficiency. Thus, as competitors like Boeing and Airbus were offering more efficient twin jets with a range comparable to the DZ-10 and later the MD-11, airlines were drawn to these newer jets. This is why the Boeing 777 has become one of the most popular wide bodies ever with over 2,000 orders to date. So now that trijets are gone from the commercial passenger service, are we missing anything? For the most part, no. Twin jets offer the same levels of comfort, performance, and with new technologies, this keeps getting better. However, a key value of trijets or quadjets, at least for some travelers, is the peace of mind that comes with additional engines. Despite ETOPS regulations, specifications, and ratings, it might make nervous passengers feel better to have additional engines in case one or two experience a failure. So, do you think trijets have a place in modern commercial aviation, or are these types of aircraft strictly a thing of the past now? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.